Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. So my name is Fatima and I'm gonna show you guys my life lately. Um, I've been taking some time off from YouTube. I haven't posted anything for the past three to four months because I have been um, reviewing my NCLEX exam. If you're following me you'll know that i was a nurse in the philippines and in saudi arabia and i migrated here in canada um last 2021 and i haven't worked on my nclex exam due to pandemic and due to financial restraints around last year of 2022 i started processing my papers to become a registered nurse here in Canada. Before I came here, I wasn't sure if I am gonna work on my nursing papers, so I wanted to check it out first. So last year of 2022, I decided to start on processing my uh, my papers. So I started with NNAS, and then it was not applicable despite of having the recent experience i was working in saudi arabia for um, almost five years and it still wasn't comparable due to our education in the philippines so i have to work on my NCLEX for me to be able to become a nurse here in canada i started um, submitting my papers around uh, march 2022 and it was done around february so it took almost a year for the documents to come in and around march of this year i received my att or authorization to test to take the nclex exam under new york state i decided to follow this route since it's much easier for internationally educated nurse to process to become a nurse here in canada so if your will to become a nurse here in canada or in the u.s is so strong you have to start saving up for you to be able to process all of the necessary requirements and documents if you're interested about the step-by-step -step process that i did for me to be able to have a license here in canada and as well as the u.s please leave a comment down below and I'll be more than happy to share it with you guys. Five days from now, I'm going to take na ako ng NCLEX and I'm just very anxious. Para yung feeling ko is um, hindi ko maintindihan. <laughs> uh, <lalayak> ako. <laughs> I'm so tired. But I hope everything will be worth it soon. Every day, parang ang hirap pala na mag mag take ng NCLEX tapos um, nag work ka but I mean hindi ka pwedeng walang work kasi may bills ka tapos may umasa sa'yo sa Pilipinas oh, hindi ko alam buti na lang sa work sinat ngayon so hindi niya ako makikita na the drama but makikita niya tong video na to but yeah. Oh. I'm lang ako na all the months na hindi ako nag work. I go to waste. Just. I ko alam na. But anyways. study na ako. <laughs> Stress lang to. Aja. 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 Aja.
Hi guys, um, it's currently 5:40 p.m. and kakadating lang namin from Saskatoon. Um, nagtake ako ng exam um, around 1 p.m. afternoon slot yung kinuha ko and um, it's around one hour, two hours from here sa amin. So yung person view person view na office or testing center is nasa Saskatoon. Sobrang dami ng lumabas sa akin. Lahat ng health teaching, lahat ng SATA, lahat ng prioritization, yung about sa management, may pedia ako, may psych ako, as in halo-halo, as in lahat ng departments lumabas sa akin. And I'm so very happy and um, hindi ko pa alam, hindi pa ako nag-PVT trick, uh, kinakabahan pa ako. I'm gonna wait after two days. Um, all in all, okay naman yung feeling ko, parang feeling ko naman lahat ng mga tanong doon nasagot ko. Um, lalo na sa mga, ano, sa mga case studies. Kasi obvious na obvious naman yung mga signs and symptoms na kailangan i-follow up. Mga health teachings sa mga specific um, diseases. Yung mga diseases pala na lumabas sa case studies ko is may COPD, may appendicitis, may pancreatitis, may uh, gastritis, tapos may maternal, tsaka may pedia. I had, I had a good feeling. So, i-update ko na lang kayo kung, kung good feeling ba talaga to. And I'll try to do the, the PVT trick or person view trick if tomorrow. But right now, matutulog muna ako kasi grabe yung sakit ng ulo ko. Um, and I have work tomorrow, so I'll update you soon. Hi guys, it's the week after my my NCLEX exam and ngayon lang ako nakapag-off from work. I am fully booked for the next three months. Um, I think it's a good thing para while waiting for my papers and all of the um, updates sa license and everything, um, may hinihintay ako. So, ayun. So, Yun yung pinag-aabalahan ko and I am also going to make some appointments for dental and for our family doctor. So I'm gonna do that uh, right now since it's a weekday. It's Thursday, June 1. So makapag make appointments ako. And so hindi ako nakapag share pala kung anong nangyari sa exam ko. So last week I took the NCLEX exam at around 1 pm sa Saskatoon Person View and then. Um, I took my exam for three hours and I stopped at around 105, 102. Nahalimutan ko na. Kasi yung time and the number of items sa uh, upper right hand sa monitor. So hindi ko siya chinicha kasi ang taas ng anxiety ko. So I just really focused on answering the questions. Um, I don't have any um, calculations, but I do have an ECG strip and then kung ano yung management sa ECG strip na yun. Hindi siya minention kung anong type of ECGs siya. So, ang dami kong prioritization, SATA, health teaching, and my six case studies ako. So, lahat ng areas lumabas sa akin, maternal, psych, MS, pedia, leadership and management, and drugs, by the way. So, six or seven case studies na lumabas sa akin, it was a mixture of maternal, pedia, and MS. But mostly, it was all about MS, especially sa GI. Um, mga study materials ko, um, it, it was UWorld, and I enrolled in a review center in the Philippines. It is called NCLEX INAP. I'm going to post it here in the description box below or anywhere here on the screen. I graduated 10 years ago na, so I really have to start from scratch. Back to zero talaga, uh, from head to bottom. So that's where I decided na talagang gusto kong 
mag enroll na isang review center and I I made the right choice kasi may lecture sila um, from every system it took three months for me to study like talagang focus study because I can't study all while at work hindi lang talaga siya pumapasok sa akin I tried talagang kailangan ko talaga mag-focus and mas okay sa akin na walang nagde-disturb ba walang tao sa bahay so I was really happy na yung asawa ko is may ganap din and busy din siya so I just stayed at home for the last three months and then nag-entax ay na pa ko nag-lectures muna ako for the first month ko tapos yung second and third month dun na ako nag focus sa pre-boards sa INAP. Um, it's usually like 175 to 100 items. Um, a mixture of everything. And then, ma-refresh yan ka talaga sa lahat ng topics. And usually, um, yung mga pre-boards yun ata yung mga updated topics na lumalabas sa uh, sa NCLEX. Um, Nag-UWorld din ako. Nag-purchase ako ng UWorld yung good for 3 months. Um, I think it was around 249 USD so kalimutan ko 287 Canadian dollars at ang nabayaran ko and sa NCLEX INAP it was 20,000 pesos so it's like 500 Canadian dollars and ayun so may mga maliliit pa akong mga books and resources na pinurchase ko sa Amazon so I believe that it went to 1,000 Canadian dollars para lang sa study materials ko so Hingang malalim sa mga lahat ng gastos, but it's all gonna be worth it. Don't be worried about everything. You have to do whatever it takes for you to pass. So, I did whatever it takes for me to pass. Even if it needs me to take some time off at work, kasi yun talaga yung kailangan ko. If you can study while working, then good for you. But, I just can't. Hindi talaga siya nag sa utak ko. So, and then... While well, nag-use ako ng UWorld, uh, I really have to take down notes kasi for me, while writing, mas nare-retain sa utak ko ang information. If you are a nursing graduate from Cebu Doctors University, then you'll know what I mean. <laughs> notes is life talaga sa Cebu Doc na nursing. So, I don't know now, but during our time, talagang hindi ka pwede pumasok sa class kung wala kang notes. And my pre-test and post-test, it's, it's no longer a big deal for me na mag-notes. Kasi yun talaga nakagisnan ko. And ayun, it, that worked for me. I don't know what works for you. So I would suggest find something that works for you. It doesn't mean what works for me would work for you. So it would take a while for you to realize um, everything. Um, hindi mo pa siya ma-realize kung malayo pa yung test mo. But as time goes by, as the date goes near, parang ma-pressure ka na, especially if it's already the last two months or the last month na sa pagre-review mo. So, ayun. So, um, just make sure that you studied or you go through all of the systems, all of the areas, um, kasi hindi mo talaga alam kung ano yung lalabas sa, sa computer. So, you just have to be prepared of everything. Um, don't be complacent. Kung ano yung mga weak areas mo, ibalikan mo uh, sa last week ng review mo because yung weakness ko is um, maternal and psych. And ayun, binalikan ko siya for sa last week ng review ko. And then, nag nag-watch ako ng mga prioritization test-taking test strategies ni Sir J ng NCAX INAP and it really helped me a lot kasi ang dami kong prioritization, ang dami kong SATA and, and I think because of that it helped me choose the right answers so now we're back to regular programming, I'm sorry I've been MIA for the past months I know not all of us are given the same opportunity the same means but Try your best. Try your best. Lang talaga. Kasi especially if you're a nurse um, in the Philippines or somewhere else and you're planning to you're planning to move in the US or in Canada, it's really worth it. And if gusto maraming paraan, pag ayaw maraming dahilan. So, don't waste your time. Today is the best time to work on your nursing career. Especially now na ang daming hiring especially here in Canada and in the US so yung gateway mo lang talaga is NCLEX once you have NCLEX it will open a lot of doors for you wherever you go basta may NCLEX ka 
you can work everywhere and you'll make your dreams come true so ayun lang guys right now i'm still waiting for my papers for an update from the cno and sa new york state and i'll update you once i have all, all of those papers already come in i think it would take i think it would take a few weeks for me to receive it and for me to have the update so i'll let you know so for now i'm gonna take some time and i'll see you into my next vlog